development is important in today's society for the overall development of the country. In order to contribute towards the development of the country, Jammu and Kashmir Economic Reconstruction Agency ERA was established in December 2004 as an autonomous body under the Department of Planning and Development Government of Jammu and Kashmir. The main aim of the society is to promote the economic, financial and social development of state of Jammu and Kashmir and to plan, implement and execute policies and plans on behalf of Government of Jammu and Kashmir. ERA is the executing agency for externally aided projects in Jammu and Kashmir. The devastating effects of 2014 floods in Jammu and Kashmir compelled the Government of India to request assistance from the World Bank and a project named as Jehlim Tavi Flood Recovery Project came into existence funded by World Bank. The main aim of the project is to restore essential services disrupted by the floods and improving the design standards and practices to increase resilience. The Jammu Kashmir government is implementing a World Bank funded project, the Jhelum Tavi Flood Recovery Project, a $250 million project being implemented in JNK by the JNK Economic Reconstruction Agency. This project is a remarkable story of turnaround in the developmental landscape of JNK. It has components across various sectors like health, education, disaster management, risk resilience, livelihood, rehabilitation and reconstruction of hospitals, schools, colleges, etc. Besides, this project has played a critical role in the COVID-19 management of the government of Jammu and Kashmir, thereby saving hundreds and thousands of precious human lives. The project has multiple components, reconstruction and strengthening of critical infrastructure, reconstruction of roads and bridges, reconstruction of urban flood management infrastructure, restoration and strengthening of livelihoods, strengthening disaster risk management capacity, contingent emergency response, implementation support. Under the six different components of the project GTFRP funded by World Bank, the various projects and sub-projects have been implemented and executed on fast-track basis with a remarkable progress across the various project parameters. We have carried out two river morphology study of river Jahalim and Tavi and other than that we have done major interventions like a study on the building codes, there's a multi-hazard risk assessment study, there's going to be another study which, is, which will be completed very soon which is decision support system for the Union Territory of JNK as well as the Union Territory of Ladakh. We are on the verge of completing the uh, Tavi study, Jahalim study and other studies and government of JNK will have a robust system of decision support system which will be invoked during disasters uh, which may happen in the near future. Under the reconstruction and strengthening of critical infrastructure component, an additional block at LD Hospital Srinagar, a tertiary care institute of gynecology and obstetrics is being constructed. As there was a huge loss of infrastructure due to 2014 floods. With a total plot area of 30,631 square meters, the proposed building has G plus 4 with stilt floor. Bone in Joint Hospital Srinagar incurred a huge loss of infrastructure during 2014 floods. The construction of 120 bedded super speciality orthopedic unit, including 6 bedded ICU, is under construction on a total plot area of 8,000 square meters and a building has G plus 4 with attic stories. Bone and Joint Hospital will be a, uh, will be a tertiary care hospital where you, you will have the world's best machines in place and a 120 bed uh, structure uh, where all the research, uh, planning and uh, other sectors will be touched.
the major sub projects being executed by the JTFRP funded by World Bank under the reconstruction and strengthening of critical infrastructure component include construction of administrative block in store building at Fire and Emergency Services Headquarter, Batamalu, Srinagar. Forty-three fire tenders, including seventeen quick response vehicles, seventeen multi-purpose fire tenders, and nine water tenders, which were having seven thousand five hundred liter water capacity, provided by World Bank through JTFRP. These are uh, uh, known as multi-purpose fire tenders. These are able to pass through small, narrow lanes by lanes, especially of Srinagar city. They are supposed to. extinguish different types of fire uh, incidents like combustible solid materials liquid materials or even gas when it is involved in fire we can use these multi purpose fire tenders construction of additional classroom block at government college for women molana azad road srinagar construction of science block at amar singh college srinagar construction of humanities block staff room and meeting hall block at government degree college bemana construction of administrative block at government degree college for women at anantnag reconstruction of roads and bridges is the component under which the reconstruction of damaged roads and bridges are performed to restore and improve connectivity disrupted due to the disaster The key bridge over Rambiara Nala connecting vast areas of Pulwama, Shopian, Kulgam and a number of adjacent villages was washed away during 2014 floods. The construction work of 6 into 50 meter span double lane Tast Girdar bridge over Rambiara Nala connecting Trans Shekhpura to Arihal Shopian at Trans Shekhpura is in its final stage. The construction work of rigid pavement from Rambagh to Civil Secretariat is being carried out. We are presently constructing six number of roads which were previously submerged in floods of 2014. We have upgraded that. We are upgrading that. Uh, and, and all these roads will be completed by June 20, uh, 2022. What happened with us was that we used to have macadamized roads, which normally get affected in snow uh, with, a, with a small snowfall. The roads get affected, but the uh, the rigid pavement has actually sustained through the last heavy snowfall of 2020-21. and i am sure that it is going to last for at least 10 years and this is a major in intervention in the road network of the city of srinagar under the strengthening of restoration of livelihood component the composite market center building for whole chain activity of silk at government silk factory rajbagh has been constructed using traditional architectural design The building is equipped with latest equipments like twister and other preparatory equipments for silk yarn processing. With the help of these equipments, we are able to increase the production up to 1.5 lakh meters initially in a single phase, and there is possibility we can increase our production up to 4.50 lakh meters in three shifts annually before floods. we are having only eight varieties of silk after inaugurations from last 4 5 months we are able to increase 16 varieties that means in future there is possibility we can move up to 30 varieties also 
and with the help of these machines there is possibility that we can provide employment to the youth the restoration and repair work of government woolen mill is almost completed at both bemina and rajbagh To strengthen the infrastructure, latest equipments have been procured for government woolen mills Bemina. Recently, one of the major successes of the Jhelum Tavi flood recovery project was the incorporation uh, of Srinagar city as a creative cities network by the UNESCO. In order to upgrade the skill levels of the artisans associated with handicrafts of embroidery and paper mache, Jhelum Tavi flood recovery project has developed two handicraft clusters at Noorbag for embroidery and Zadibal for paper mache in which the skills of more than 1250 artisans are being enhanced in the area of product development, design, innovations, color schemes managerial training and artisan owned associations and development first time a comprehensive art, artisan data, database survey was completed uh, for the whole union territory of jnk so we will have a detailed database of all the artisans uh, working in the whole union territory of jnk we have uh, registered these 600 artisans into a producer collective which would be uh, which would be owned and managed by these artisans so the benefit the benefit of uh, this project is that the artisans would be the shareholders they would be the owners the project has helped artisans to to utilize their skills in product development workshops so during product development workshops artisans explore as many as possibilities like in terms of colors designs fabrics so that they can compete to the market which the, the trends that are ongoing in the market so that they can compete that The main objective of the restoration of urban flood management infrastructure component is to strengthen and reinforce the existing weak and vulnerable flood control infrastructure. In this effort, rehabilitation and renovation of storm water pumping stations in Srinagar municipal areas is primarily done. Storm water drainage scheme Nadru Srinagar, which consists of a pumping station near Peer Bag Bridge, adjacent to the flood spill channel where latest electromechanical machinery is installed for effective dewatering another storm water drainage scheme bonpura padshahi bag consists of one pumping station mps at padshahi bag and one intermediate pumping station ips at bonpura the sub project caters areas in padshahi bag Mehjoor Nagar, Hafiz Colony, Bonpura, and Nogam, which works out to be 121 hectares. The project installed oxygen plants and medical gas pipeline system at 30 hospitals of UT of Jammu and Kashmir. In the initial 3.5 years of uh, three and a half years of this project, there was a disburse, total disbursement of 17 crores only. However, during the last two years. the total disbursement under the project has reached 900 crores which means almost we are uh, disbursing 20 to 30 crore rupees per month so this is also uh, uh, i'm pleased to inform that uh, this project has been one of the top most projects uh, funded by world bank in the whole uh, country uh, in terms of disbursement for the last one year the jammu and kashmir economic reconstruction agency has made sure that the public feedback mechanisms the various aspects of implementation for example the social impacts and the environmental impact assessments of each and every sub project are carried out in a robust effective and efficient manner to make sure that the world bank funded projects are implemented to the best of the benefit of the population of jammu and kashmir
we have always realized that this is a difficult project to implement. It's, it's in a difficult environment. It was an emergency project, which are typically more difficult to do. Uh, so the project has been in what we call problem status for a long time. But I have to say that I'm deeply impressed with the turnaround that we've seen in the last two and a half years. And now seeing the work on the ground has really inspired me and my team. Uh, in all the places we visited, it was so good to hear the positive feedback from the community of, for example, the um, oxygen plants in remote areas uh, that have been put in place, the uh, district hospital in Srinagar, the kind of equipment that has been provided, state of the art. Uh, you know, frankly, just looking at the district hospital, it is way better than any private hospital that you can imagine. Um, the handicrafts, uh, the work that is underway, all of it is really, it tells a very good story. And I have to commend uh, the e ERA team uh, for the hard work. This couldn't have been possible without that. And I, I have to say on the behalf of the World Bank that we're proud to be associated with this project.